day, internet people. Good day. Good day. Good day. We weren't going to film a video today because it's Sunday and we've already put a video up. And we forgot the camera. And I checked the post yesterday and there wasn't anything there. But despite being a Sunday, we, I had this funny feeling. I wonder if there'll be any post. And guess what? There was some post. See? <laughs> it's this. The Divine Swordsman of the Shiny Star, Vagar GTD02. Trial Deck 2. Carfire Vagar G. This is the supply set. Which we from, never get in English. Well, she wrote you. Ordered this from our standard import place, nipponyasan.com. I'm happy to share that out because... They don't really compete particularly with our sponsors. Um, and, you know, I'm happy to shout that out because they're very good. And look at that. You can see right there some very shiny, nice look looking things. You should tear into it. I'm going to try and work out how to get into blaster it. Blaster blade. I've already blaster bladed the tapey bits. Hang God. Have you blaster bladed this bit? You don't blaster blade. Want... Oh, wait. No, that's where it's sealed. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to do a cut, <laughs> a very smooth cut, because this is... There okay. okay, we go. Uh, no cut required. No, I think we should keep it in. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. How do I box? It's like when I try and door. It just doesn't work. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. We got a deck box, a very nice deck box with what's-his-face, she, uh, Shion. Uh, so you got a clear bit so you can see your deck through it. And there's a cool dude... And there's another cool dude. So basically, it's your grade three and your stride unit there. That's pretty awesome. It's right. I, I have Let's that. get next to. You get a cool piece of card. <laughs> That's pretty awesome with a little hole oh. in the end, so you can kind of do something with that. Um, like throw it on the floor, like Ed. Uh, sleeves. sleeves. Very nice. Shion sleeves there. The card fight Vanguard G in the corner there. Very cool. I'm going to leave that bit till last. We get a little pack of promo cards. Um, we'll what these are in a minute. Now, I can tell you the effects on the top one, if nothing else, because I know what it does. It's, it's in something in like Rainbow Dude. He's from the actual trial, uh, not trial deck. Uh, BTO1? BTO1, yeah. And you can see Is here. It a promo card number? Uh, it probably has a promo card. If it has but, a promo card number, I'll find it. There you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because this one is Miracle Element Atmos, the uh, stride unit that when you attack, counterblast one to give it plus 10,000 power. It's like a, they just look like cards you don't, you're not going to want to put sleeves on because they just look, look so pretty. They're very nice. Actually, to be honest, Japanese ones are quite sturdy. Are they so, promo card number or are they? That's a promo one. No, yeah, it's, it's GBTO1. Promo. 043 PR instead of R. So I think it's got the normal set number, but then it's got PR instead of the old rarity. Ah. So underneath that is this guy. This is a 7k oh, that gets plus 2k when it attacks if you give me a vanguard. It, if you give me his number. Oh, that feels so nice. I know, right? What's his number? Yeah, it's per, number 47. It, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just when it attacks a vanguard it gets plus 2k. I just, I just wanted to tell you his name. His name is Knight of Shield Bash. Okay, yeah. Boom. And the other promo is the guy's an 8k grade 2, number 23. Like Rainbow this or is Starlight. Starlight a violinist. That's it. Basically, when he is placed, uh, Counterblast 1, Soul Blast 1 to search your deck for another grade 2, not with this name, and call it to your rear guard. You can chain that with some of your other superior calling stuff, for example, a Sybil or equivalent, to kind of fill the field quite quickly. Uh, and those are just three little promos you get when you buy the supply set. Whether we'll get them in English in this kind of way. <sighs> Unlike it. Yeah, I'm like right. It. And obviously we get the deck, which we'll go into soon, and a, a booster pack, <laughs> and some more random pieces of card at the bottom there. Woo so you could use this just to put like decks. Do we oh, open the booster pack first, or go through the deck first? Deck first. <coughs> deck first. Okay. We'll leave that goodie till last. Okay. Oh, and there's promo, a random promo pack in there as well, because this supply set. Really spoiled, it's like, yeah, oh, yo dog, stuff, yo dog, how do you like things and stuff? Um, oh yeah, you, each uh, trial deck supply set also comes with a themed playmat for that particular clan. So the, obviously the Gear Chronicle one is kind of a red one, not purple like you might have expected. And yep. we can try and flip that open and you see it's there and you've got a G zone up in that top left corner above your damage zone. Other than that, it's all pretty much the same. 
You've got some deck building tips on the back. And this is a, it's an idea for when, a, that's, when we need to design I'll put spine, this over that's... with the booster pack. You get one of these, oh, the nice damage camera. counter dudes for your triggers. I've Woo. wanted some of those, so that's pretty awesome. You get that. I think that's like an advert for the trigger campaign. Yeah. There's the latest playbook, the Vanguard G playbook in Japanese. Probably pretty much exactly the same as what we've had forever. <clears throat> Your quick start guide. First <laughs> guide. Isn't it funny how it says card fight Vanguard playbook? Then playbook. There's a code English. there. Whoever wants to claim that code, I think that's for Cray Wars. Can is get that, that blaster that blaster blade, blaster blade blaster turning blade. his back on the sword. There, you've got an advert for five cross or something, and more five cross. some stats and what have you. And then you've got yeah. the two halves mm. of the deck. Your grade three. And you stride. Let's right. start with the grade three half. Grade three. So you get a it's hollow version and a non-hollow version of this card. You get two of the just boss cards. Just for Ed, who's providing translations for us, we need yeah. numbers. So we okay, want... that's card 002. 002. 002 is Name? Knight of Blue Heavens, Alto Mile. Alto Mile, yep. Alto Mile right. So you get a hollow and a non-hollow. So right, so generation break two. Good. This ability is active if you have two or more face-up G units on your Vanguard circle or in the G zone. During your turn, all your units in your front row gain plus 5,000 power. So yep. It's continuous. It's like a soul <clears throat> saver. And then auto is counterblast one. During your turn, when your G unit stride, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to two cards from your hand. Call them to separate rear guards. Choose up to two of your units, and those units gain plus five thousand power until the end of turn. Cray cray. Nice. Then you've got two copies of number three. number three. Yeah, it's a um, grade three. It basically generation break one. It gets plus six when it attacks. Aurora shooter dragon. What's yeah. the other ability? The counter boss. Second three? ability is a superior call. Yep. Yeah. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, so you may pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one grade two or greater. Call it to rearguard. And it's a counter blaster two. For a common, that's not bad. The commons really up their game this uh, G series. I mean, that's attacking for sixteen oh, on GB one. So, you know, that's pretty nice. Then you get four of the crap grade three. Is that the counter blast one plus three? It's counter blast one plus three K when it attacks. Yep. Card Great number... Scholar Sage Kunron. Yeah. So it looks cool. It looks cool, but it's as soon as that. you've built your deck, that is not going to be in it there. Goes, it goes the way of a lot of cards. So it's going to be cool. meh. Yeah. yeah. Next up, we've got the new 10K. This is grade two. 10K grade, grade two. two. Um, Very nice. This is Absolute Sword Knight Rivalo. Yep. That is a very nice looking And it is, it's a very cool looking. That's zero, zero, 005, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. He looks like lion from oh, Thundercats. He certainly does. Snap! Uh, then you get, you get two of this uh, boss grade two. I think this is the guy when he's boosted. JB1. Knight of Twin Sword. Yes. Yeah. So when he's boosted, Counter Blast 1 and Superior Call, I think a grade 2 or less. Is that right? Not named himself. Not named himself. So you could Superior Call the Starlight um, Musician guy and then Superior Call again from that. And you've got yourself royals, a column. Royals, or... royals, it's what they do who best. Royals, yep. royals, royals. Then you've got two. This guy is number, double, sorry, double, double, uh, number seven. He's basically a 12k attacker when you're on GB1. Knight of a Visc... Hang on. This is this is a word. Vicissitude <laughs> Breed. Yeah, I, I had trouble with that one when I first read that myself. <laughs> Knight of <laughs> Vicissitude Breed, I believe. Uh, yeah. I wonder what that word means. I'll bet you anything that, that, oh. that word gets changed for the English version. Probably to Knight of Servitude or something. Okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> Knight of Very. <laughs> now, this is a very reliable card, because once you've hit GB1, that's always swinging for 12, regardless. So, so basically that's the new version of the 12k. That's how those are going to work in the future, rather than subclans, because this uh, new format seems to... At least for kind now, of kind of not, disregard not them a bit. Dis, um, it they're doesn't completely still support them. for them. Yes, the, yeah. but they're not the focus anymore. No, You've got two 10k interceptors, grade uh, two 8ks, number W8. Mithril Guard Lion. Yep. So again, Mithril. Mithril. chances uh, are, once you've bought two trial Mithril. decks, these will be some of the Mithril. first cards that you go whew, gone. <laughs> However, good for a trial deck. Um, Is that a brand new? Then you get your new 8k. Right. Number nine, is it? 8K Vanilla, hang on, let's have a look, 8K Vanilla. Knight of the Crescent Moon, Felix. And again... Sounds like an Oracle card. Really, really cool artwork. Only because it's got Crescent, Crescent Moon in it. I think your Marins are going to get uh, replaced by this, regardless of so what look, build you use. Cause cool. Oh yeah. That is just a very nice looking dog. Um, <laughs> and then we get four in this half of the deck of this. This is card 
Card 10, yeah, this is year 10k grade 1 when it's on zero GB1. one zero. Yep. Mm -hmm. Generation break 1, this hey. ability, it's an Archer of Aerial Tower. It's a 10k attacker when you're yeah. on GB1. Yep, GB1. So again, pretty, so basically it's pretty stop, reliable. It's stopping grade 1 rushes when you think about it. Yes, a lot of a lot of these skills being generation break means if your opponent's grade stuck, you're not going to wail on them too hard. It makes things a little bit fairer if your opponent's having trouble catching up. Right, are we going straight we, to the generate the uh, are stride going, unit? We are going stride. Part two, so you get a stride hollow and a stride non hollow there. Vague sacred knight go blade. Okay. You can explain the skills for us. Right, G unit can be put in your main deck. Apparently, this says that on there. Yeah, this goes, <clears> and it's got a nice shiny back. Right, stride. Release it when both you and your opponent have a grade three or greater vanguard stride step. Choose one or more cards with the sum of their grades being three or greater from your hand and discard it. Stride, stride this unit. Stride this face down on your vanguard circle. Face up. It, it should says be face down. It should be face up because you do it like this, so the plus goes and you can see the original one you've stood over that's probably, that's probably an error well. it means at the end of turn you place it then face up in your g-zone as well but when you stride it gets the power and name from one of your hearts yeah so yeah so actually you can that would be it. fifteen thousand plus ten eleven thousand like or something yeah yeah and return this unit at the end face up auto ability when this unit attack hits the vanguard search your deck for up to one grade two or greater card call it rear guard and shuffle your deck so this is if you saw our seeker deck unboxing the other day and how that had real trouble doing any superior calling whatsoever how it had any trouble doing anything yeah this deck this is how you do a deck i'm going to put these two to the side because they don't go into the main build i just want to have a look at the oh interestingly the cards are so nice i know it feels so nice right Looks cool, dude. Now we've got three. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, just keep that up there. Three of the, This is a boss card. <laughs> it works this. on the vanguard and the rear guard. It's a 6k, and you think, oh, it's only a 6k. Um, but this, this is called the Knight of Steel Wing. Yeah, and the skill is nuts. Tell us the skill, Mr. Red. When this unit is attacked, gets uh, this unit gains plus 5,000 power until the end of that battle. So he's an 11k defense when you attack it. If you ride this guy first turn, if you go first and you don't get to attack, your opponent's going to have to throw down something with a booster, or they're not hitting you first turn at all. Or they get a trigger. Or they get a trigger. But a rear guards ain't going to hit. So basically it's forcing you to find a trigger straight away. Yeah, it's... It's another thing that stops <clears throat> the grade one, the, the grade stuck rush. If yeah. You, if you happen to still be grade if stuck. If your grade stuck on this guy, the chances are you're going to be okay to you defend, you can G assist again. The amount um, you have to guard is the same for if you were on a grade three vanguard. Exactly. It's, it's, you can't lose with that really. It's, it keeps you safe. We've got next card number 12. It's a 6k grade 1. Oh, Generation break 1 when it boosts... Me. Is it when it boosts a vanguard it gets plus 4k? Yep. It's called Milky Way Unicorn. Yeah, 10k booster for a vanguard <clears throat> as soon as you're on GB1. So... Not bad. Very good. Superior call that behind your vanguard early on and you'll be pretty happy now, with that. I've seen people who've done Japanese unboxings of these things and they keep complaining about these because they're not shiny enough. Now, I don't care that these aren't shiny because... Two perfect guards in the trial deck. Cute as heck. Rainbow Guardian. So they're common. They're just standard tri uh, ones. Of course, um, at the time, the people people who were unboxing them didn't realise why they were yeah. common perfect the, guards. There's a difference. Because they're in the set, aren't they? There's double uh, card, uh, perfect guards in the booster set. Who that, unflip damage when they're used. If yeah. you've used as long as there's one already one. one of these in the drop zone, when you then use one, it unflips the damage. Yeah, so there's two versions of that. Rainbow so Guardian. it's no, not the it's, it's a different card entirely. Yeah, completely different card. Hmm. But what it means is the beginners get the basic standard. Yeah, you perf. buy a true trial decks and you've got a deck. Exactly, it's great. And then if you want to upgrade these gradually really to the want, ones in the set, if you're if you're a magpie and you want all of the shiny things, then you've just got to get four. Yeah, it does make sense to replace these when you get the chance because of the unflip. But they're there for beginners. So yeah, that's good. The starter is a pretty good one. It's, uh, it's got a skill. It's got a skill. It's Hang generation on. break one, counter blast one, and I think you put him in the soul. Do you? Shining Knight Milius, forerunner, generation break one, counter blast one. Put this unit into your soul. Search your deck for up to one grade two card. Call it to rearguard and shuffle your deck. Grade two or that's not good. grade two or less. It's just. A... Can, can I use that with my seekers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the kind of starter that can't Royal Paladin generation generation break. Like, <laughs> definitely benefits from. Well, if you run some stride units in your seekers. Now we're getting onto some triggers. It's Monic Messiah. This is. Uh, you got. Yeah, I'm ready with four triggers. crit. It's card number fifteen. Burning Main Lion. He said vanilla crit. But again, that artwork. Some good looking artwork. You've got. 
I'm going to go for these ones. Two, this draw trigger, number 16. Little Fairy of Assault, Captain. Ah, oh, and it's riding good like a fly, like a pony was. <laughs> um, you got four stands, as you'd expect. The Night of Festival. Or Night of Festival. That looks, that would explain the artwork. Super cute. Awesome. Uh, you got four heels. It's a Pegasus of Healing some kind. Pegasus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and okay. Reprint think... Central. Margul, including a hollow one. Hello, Margul. Uh, so you you've got this nice... Guys. I'm not buying four of these things, just the magpie. Yes, you are. It. So again... Standard, you all know what this does. Put it in the soil, give something plus 3k. But now you've got a hollow version. And to be honest, Bushy Road wanted to make triggers with skills. Bushy Road wanted to make hitting triggers exciting again. I think that works. They're not exciting them, already. By, by making them shinier. Yeah. It makes it makes trigger checking more fabulous. So that's that and that. And Magic do that. There's they make their land like hollow as well. And obviously there's things. So those are those. And now we're going to get on to... I think you should do this first. Yeah, this is a bit less I've exciting. Ready. This one's a bit less exciting because I think it predates <sighs> the actual G stuff. And... Uh, However, you could probably... It's a crit trigger. It's a crit trigger. I think it's a Nubatama, Nubatama crit. Nubatama crit! Yay! Yep, Nubatama critical Woohoo! trigger. Because you they've only got one it. so far. Shut up. No, you can't. Oh. Let me use it. No! Poor, poor Nubatama, they have been a little bit... Uh, Unlooked after, so they'll like that. There was also a brawler in there and a seeker in that. And um, now we're going to get a, a legion. Uh, uh, no, it's a BTO one rooster pack. Before they're even out in Japan, unless you're watching this after they're out in Japan. In we're which case, go each card. And yes. I'm going to tell you what they are. Well, okay. I can't help you with that one. Though. Well, we hey, know that guy. That's your bash. <laughs> that's a trial deck card. So knight of shield bash. We know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's pretty useful. Next. Gear Chronicle. Number? Uh, I can't read it. 98. 98. This is... Soul Blast 1... 98 is Clockwork Gear Tiger. Mm -hmm. And what that does is... Soul Blast 1. When this unit attacks, if you have a G unit on your Vanguard, Vanguard Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do this unit, it's plus 5k until the end of that battle. 14k with a Soul Blast, then. <laughs> Next. It's a... Oracle Think Tank. Number? Number 58. It's, a, it's the uh, 10k attacker. Uh, 10k attacking grade 1. That GB1. Yeah. Okay. Then there's a Kigaro uh, crit trigger, a very derpy looking thing to be honest. Oh, it's a really derpy looking one. Number yeah. 75, is that? Yeah. Dragon Knight Rashid. Yeah. And I've got a double R. Ooh. For the Oracle Think Tank. Ah! It's ah! the uh, Oracle Think Tank Quintet of Wool, I think. I think it's a perf, isn't it? Oh, uh, uh, no, it's a GB1 oh, no, 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 no. skill, actually. This is, this card oh, is hilarious. Is this the one it's boosted? When this unit is boosted... Um, Counterblast 1, draw a card. Counterblast 1, draw a card. When it's boosted, then it attacks the Vanguard. Oh, for God's sake. And the Yuri's ah! got a massive grin on her face. That is not fair. So that's a cool... Running four of those! That brings Oracle Think Tank nicely up to date, a card like that. Hand Wars. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah, you son of a. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been quite a long unboxing because it's an awesome set and it's an awesome it's new thing. Stuff, and I think my wife wants I'm that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Goodbye. <laughs>